and we defeated, we defeated the colonialists. The war in Algeria against the French, the Mau Mau in Kenya, Samora Machel, 1974, defeated the Portuguese. In Angola, the Portuguese were defeated. We defeated Ian Smith in Zimbabwe, 1980. 1994, we defeated the whites in South Africa. So, we won the victory, but we have not consolidated. The weaknesses that you still see are because we didn't consolidate the victory. Now, how do you consolidate the victory? Economic, political integration. That's what was lacking. Plus, plus, Self-sufficiency, self-sufficiency in agriculture, self-sufficiency in manufacturing, self-sufficiency in, 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 in science. This is where the problem is. But, but we won, we won victory. And the weaknesses which are still there is because we did not concretize the victory. We left some Loose ends meeting. Here we, 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 we sang two anthems, one for Uganda, one for East Africa. That's good to, to sing the, the, the anthem. But let, let us implement the East African days, not just sing the song and leave it there. If you take the coffee business, I've given you this figure before. The coffee business in the world is $460 billion. But the coffee producing countries are, are getting only $25 billion out of the $460 billion. Why? Because we sell the coffee unprocessed as a raw material. Then some people go roast it, grind it, and get more money than we, the growers of the coffee. Now, what's, what, what's, what is the problem there? The problem of the Edomite cash where you, you sell your birthright in exchange for a morsel of food, for exchange of, of, of food. 